Hi there. Uh, today we're going to have a look at the constellation of Capricornus. Now, the, phrase, the word Capricornus is used when referring to the constellation. The word Capricorn is used in astrology. Capricornus is located in the southern sky. In fact, it very rarely pokes its head into the northern hemisphere. And certainly when you're as far north as, say, Britain, it's very, very hard to see it. The name means goat or goat horn in Latin. And you can find it, it's sort of an arrow shape, um, by looking for the summer triangle and then making a line from Vega through Altair into the southern sky. Capricornus is one of the 13 zodiac constellations. And it's one of the faintest constellations in the sky, in fact, which makes it very hard to see from the northern hemisphere because it's always in sort of the evening twilight. It's home to several notable stars and uh, the Messier cluster M30. And there are a number of meteor showers which we can see in the southern hemisphere which are associated with it. I'm not going to go into those in any detail, but the, the Alpha Capricornids, the Chi Capricornids, the Sigma Capricornids, the Tau Capricornids, and the Capricornid Sagittarius. In terms of stars, Alpha 1 Capricorni is a double star, about 680 light years away from us, consisting of a yellow G-type supergiant with a magnitude of about 4.3. Beta Capricorni is the second brightest star. Its traditional name, Dabi, comes from the Arabic Al Dabia, which means the butcher. It's not a single star, it's a star system, about 328 light years distant, located near the ecliptic, and it consists of Dabi Major, which has a magnitude of about 3.05, and Dabi Minor, which has an apparent magnitude of 6.09. Delta Capricorni is the brightest star actually in the, in the constellation, with an apparent magnitude of 2.85, which gives you an idea how dim the constellation is. It comes from its traditional name of Deneb al Jedi or Shaddai, um, it means the tail of the goat. And in fact, it's a four-star system, about 39 light years from Earth, and the brightest star, as we say, is Delta Capricorni, and it's a white giant, and has a luminosity 8.5 times that of the Sun. But of course, again, as we say, it's a long way away. Omega Capricorni is an M-type red giant, about 630 light years from Earth, and its traditional name is Betan al -Jidi, meaning belly of the goat, and it has an apparent magnitude of 4.12. It's a variable star. Also in Capricornus is the Messier 30 globular cluster. It's about 28,000 light years away from us, and it's about 90 light years across in size. It was one of the first deep sky objects discovered by Charles Messier back in 1764, and it has a spectral type of F2. It's relatively dense, the brightest stars in the cluster are magnitude 12 red giants. So I hope you enjoyed that look into the night sky. Clear skies, dark skies, and see you next time. Take care and bye for now. <laughs>